students to SDPD class. So today I have brought for you an interesting topic that is light reading. So all who are familiar with light reading, when during rainy seasons, when thunderstorms comes and lightning takes place with thundering sounds, so that phenomena we will discuss in details. So first of all, let us know what is lightning. Lightning is nothing but an electric discharge between cloud to earth, between cloud to cloud, between the different charge center of the same cloud. So to clear it further, it is a huge part between cloud to earth when there is accumulation of charge in the clouds so that the potential increases and at that time when the potential between the cloud and earth reaches to a value that is 10 kilovolt per cm at that time the insulation between cloud to earth is damaged and at that time due to breakdown of this insulation an electric charge comes from the cloud towards the earth and that charge which comes from the cloud to earth when it returns from the earth we observe it as a lightning so to understand it fully different theories or several theories are there so one of this theory we will discuss that is when the moist air moist air rises from the earth towards the atmosphere at that time friction takes place between the air and the water molecules and that produces or that generates the droplets which is in the form of positive charge or negative charge so if there is the increase in size of the droplets it forms the positive charge and if the size of this droplet is very small then it will form the negative charge so accordingly the two types of clouds will get that is positively charged clouds as well as negative charged clouds so when this charge accumulates on the clouds at that time the potential gradients between these clouds and earth that becomes greater and greater and when it reaches to a threshold value that is 10 kilovolt per cm at that time the charged particles from the clouds tries to come towards the earth following an ionized path because the air surrounding this charge of this cloud get ionized so it follows a path, definite path, which is called as a pilot streamer. Pilot streamers. So these pilot streamers, when it reaches towards the earth, and when from this earth it once again returns through the same path. At that time, a spark takes place, and that's what we observe as the lightning. So, lightning is nothing but a huge spark, as in the form of a switch, as you have already known that when we switch on a switch, at that time, a spark takes place. Similarly, when the charged clouds comes nearer to the earth, the dissimilar charges develops at the earth. And the potential difference between these two gradually increases when the clouds come nearer to the earth. And then at the same time, the air insulation breaks and the charged particles tries to come towards the earth as a pilot stream. So let us understand it with a figure which I am drawing now for clear understanding about lightning. Suppose this is a negatively charged clouds 
as you have observed the electron and from this a pilot stimulus comes towards the earth if, if this clouds becomes negatively charged then the earth below it suppose this is a it gets the positive charge positive charge so it takes the discharge takes the following ionized path as i have drawn it curly wise so and this is called as your pilot streamer pilot streamer which carries a current of 100 ampere and this speed at which it reaches towards the earth is 0.15 meter per micro second and during the its travel if sufficient charge is there of the cloud or the cloud it pushes sufficient charge towards the earth at that time the pilot streamers reaches to earth otherwise it cannot reach towards the earth or that will be no lightning discharge so during this movement of this pilot streamer it follows a step path as you are observing this is a step path so this is also called a step ladder step ladder or even in some uh, books it is also written as step ladder it has the speed 16 that of light of light similarly its length is 50 meter one step that means this one step it is of 50 meter length so after reaching this pilot streamers towards the arc when it reaches at the same time it is of negative charge because the cloud is negative charge so the negative charge comes towards the arc but when it touches the positive charge at that time negative and positive both these charges touches each other therefore a huge spark takes place which comes in the same path same ionized path this is also called as return stroke the return stroke so these return strokes in the form of spark we observe it as a lightning so this is an interesting phenomena so now we will discuss about the harmful effects of lightning first of all it shatters the insulators when it comes towards the earth and strikes somewhere overhead lines at that time it breaks or shatters the insulators secondly when it strikes the overhead line at that times the charged particles or it forms a traveling waves and it travels in both direction so when it reaches to the windings of a transformer at that time due to inductive nature of this winding it cannot allows this traveling waves towards it as a result the charge get accumulates and it destroys the insulation so destruction of insulation takes place insulation of transformers or other equipments connected to the line similarly hard is at any power at any point of the power system arc is developed and due to this arc arc develops and there is disturbance 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 in the line takes place takes place which damages the equipments connected to the line so damaging of equipments equipments 
it takes place. So these are all the harmful effects of lightning. So let us talk about the protection against this lightning. So let us try to describe it. So as we have observed that a lightning produces 10 kilo ampere to 90 kilo ampere current which is very dangerous so it cannot be protected directly or it cannot be stopped but its after effect can be prevented by means of either screen grid or in the form of ground wire or lightning arrester so these three are the means to provide protection against lightning so coming to the screen here it is actually applied in the substation or power station where each equipment where each equipment is connected with this screen grid which is in the form of copper screening or copper coverings which are at at least two points so that when lightning takes place it protects all the equipment of power station similarly ground wire this is we have observed that in case of transmission towers the small or thin wire which comes from one tower to the another tower one tower to another tower at the top we are observing a thin wire that is known as ground wire which is grounded at this tower position so that it protects the transmission lines which passes through these towers when lightning takes place at the ground wire. Thereafter, the lightning arrester. It is the most uh, valuable thing in case of power station also. Lightning arresters are used. So, let us discuss about what is lightning arrester. It is called a lightning arrester or surge diverter. That means, suppose this is the lightning arrester where two spark gaps are there then let us come to this picture where the lightning arrester it is called as lightning arrester arrester these two this is the gap between two electrodes this is called as spark gap and this register is called as the non-linear register. Non-linear register. So in this way it is connected and how it works? Under normal condition of work, when normal current flows, there is no over voltage at that time, there is no spark between these two electrodes of this lightning arrestor. But when there is sudden lightning or some upper voltage comes into the system, at that time, the, across this spark gap, there is development of an arc which passes to the non-linear resistors. The non-linear resistor means its resistance becomes lower when upper voltage takes place, but under normal condition, its resistance is high. So, when it acts or when upper voltage takes place, there is development of spark and this over voltage again passes through this resistance due to low resistance which is grounded to the arc. In this way, it protects the equipment. So, there are three types of lightning arrestor. First, uh, it's called as the types of lightning arrestor. First is rod gap type. Second is your Horn gap type. Third is your metal oxide type. 
metal oxide. So out of this, let me discuss only one of this. Suppose if we take one gapped light green arrow. So first of all, I am drawing the construction or arrangement how it is done in case of one gapped light green arrow. Suppose this is the equipment from where a choke coil is there having inductance set and a register R which is further connected with two valves, arcing valves, plus cover a parcel base and it is at one and it is R. So these horn caps, these are the two arcing horns and between these two horns a small gap is there. The horns are so arranged that the gap is uh, becomes broader towards the upper side and uh, when under normal condition of operation, when the over voltage is no, there is no over voltage at that time, there is no development of arc between these two electrodes. But when over voltage takes place, an arc is developed which is further increases due to magnetic effect and heating of the surrounding air. So arc gets lengthened and pulled and finally it extinguishes. In this way, it protects the equipment which is connected with this type of lightning arrestor. Suppose this is the windings of an alternator. It is windings of an alternator. So the function of this uh, chop coil is also that reactance is normal under normal condition, but under overvolt condition, the reactance is high. So it protects coming up any over voltage towards the winding and at the same time the arc is also extinguished due to its upward movement. So in this way the lightning arrestor protects. So in this uh, uh, class we have discussed what is lightning, then the mechanism of lightning, then the harmful effect of lightning and how it can be protected from different means and finally the lightning arrestor and its types and one of the lightning arrestor or gap type lightning arrestor. So thank you very much for watching this video and hope we will discuss some more interesting topic in our next class. Thank you.